to know what the Mimic from TC Electronic can do. You've already heard it in the intro and you've heard it in the track. So for those of you who don't know why we need it, let me explain. When you're doing the lighter kind of music, light, heavy, get it? Um, you don't necessarily need to double guitars too much. It's nice to give it a widity, a nice width. I cannot say width, that's why I'm saying widity. Um, to give it space, acoustic guitars sound nice, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. Uh, I now actually do MS technique, which gives you that kind of spread with one acoustic guitar. Um, power chords are nice when they're doubled right and left, which gives the vocals, the bass and the snare and uh, the, the nice space in the middle. It's an option to double the guitars. You don't need it. When it comes to the heavier styles, it's kind of really important. Yes, it gets heavier, it gets fatter, all that, but the other thing is you don't want your distorted guitar in the middle fighting the vocal because the vocal is 
perfect in the same frequency range where those guitars are. If you take the 2 to 4K away from the guitars, they sound like that, so we don't want that. So how do we get them away from the vocal? We'll put them a little bit to the left. Well, then it's weak, so we need another one on the other side. So traditionally, you play your part exactly the way that you played it before, with the same amp, everything the same, so that it sounds like one guitar, but one metal kind of guitar. You know, kind of like rrr, rrr, guitar. Um, and that's all fine and dandy in a recording situation. It's actually fun because you can play the guitar again. So for a recording situation, I don't, I don't really want my mimic because I want to play it again. It's fun. Unless you're on a schedule and you actually need to get out of the studio and you just want to lay down the track, get out of there and not pay too much. Great tool for that, by the way. You know, saving on studio time and, and cost. If you're by yourself at home, you know, doing it with yourself, uh, by yourself, for yourself, recording by yourself, just play it again. It's fun. And it makes you, you know, practice and be precise. So, in a live situation, obviously, you don't exist twice. So, to get that fatness live, the mimic promises to deliver. Let's look at that. One of the reasons why it sounds so amazing and so wide and so fat is because of the stereo field. So having the guitar here and there and nothing in the middle, that is what makes it so rich and fat. Well, what do you do live? You have one amp, one mic. The guy at the console is going to put you in the middle, or still a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. If you have two guitar players, a little bit left, a little bit right. You'll be on one side, you'll be doubled, it'll be fatter, but you don't have that super stereo effect. How do you get that stereo effect? Well, you actually would have to run the Mimic in stereo, which is what we're going to do, and run it with two amps that preferably sound very similar. Ah, they don't necessarily have to. For this demo, we're running the uh, Engel Metal Master and the Dietzel Powell, which are different sounding amps, which is kind of cool. It makes it even wider and even bigger. But that's what you would need. You need two amps live so that there's two mics and the guy on the console can go right and left. So the question is, how big is the effect if you're actually running one amp? You're not getting the stereo field. You're not getting that production doubled sound. So what good is it? We'll find out. My setup, I go mono into the Mimic, which by the way has the following controls. You can add one guitar, dubs, one guitar, two guitar, or three guitars for a total of four guitars, your original plus three, that'll be quadrupled guitars. Um, we have the effect signal, which is the doubles. We have the dry signal, which is you, which should kind of be at the same volume if we're talking about a studio situation. And we have the tightness, meaning how many drugs did your other guitar player take? Or how tired are you on take number four? Meaning how unprecise are the doubles? Because you don't want them 100% exactly on, because then you would have phase issues, because it would be exactly the same thing. We don't want that. We want them to be different. Now, obviously, in a Recording situation, you might be playing the, the next guitar, the doubled guitar, a little bit ahead of the beat, behind the beat, you're doing a little bit of a different vibrato, uh, you're doing different things. You can play it ahead of the original guitar. This thing obviously can't play before it knows what it has to play. Whatever you play, it's going to do the doubles differently but after what you played because that freaking thing is in the time machine i mean once tc makes that thing where it actually plays before you play now that's cool can you work on that tc oh fuck it so this is a rather complex setup and which already shows you you know how valid the whole idea is for a studio slash live situation to really get the stereo sound. Right now, I'm running this um, PRS SC250, the fat guitar, dropped, uh, drop D. I'm running into the uh, Mimic 
and then out of the mono out right now into the digital power which is on clean. So this is what it would sound like in mono with one amp without the mimic. <laughs> from the Powell. And doubled. Let's turn the reverb off. Because one of the effects that you're gonna get is a a little bit of a room tone. Why? Uh, that other guitar is a tiny bit behind what I'm playing, meaning it sounds like a reflection and a very, very short reflection will make it sound like a room. <laughs> sounds, I mean, a little bit phased, which is what you want. Um, and a little bit chorusy because obviously it's not playing it back perfectly, it's playing it back slightly detuned to be different, and that will give you a chorus sound. <laughs> three more guitars. <laughs> Would also be kind of cool for soloing. Uh, Randy Rhodes, Zach Wilde, they got their chorusy kind of solo sound from actually doubling, tripling, quadrupling their solos and playing really tightly, really, really precisely. Um, Thing is, does that sound doubled to you? Does it give you that effect? Let's get the other guitars very loose. that effect. It's more of a chorusy, roomy kind of a thing. Only the doubled ones? Doesn't really make a lot of sense. That's pretty much just dry. But shouldn't that sound exactly like what I'm playing into it? It's eating a little bit of signal. Do you hear that? It's uh, it's not as fresh. It's not as thick. It's not as. It's not as. <laughs> It's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit that it's eating the high end. Um. Obviously, we want to hear it distorted, so let's do that. Let's go to one again. Thank you. 
bit thicker, yes, but it's also mushier. It is not as precise when you're playing it. Um, so as a mono effect with one amp, I don't know. Let's do that in stereo. We're going to add the Metal Master on clean. Which uh, now the detail is on the left. Metal Master is on, on the uh, Metal Master is on the right. Obviously, it would be ideal to do this with uh, the same amp twice. Yet, who has the same amp twice? Actually, actually I do. But we're not. I'm, we're using these, um, which by itself will give you a stereo field because you have two different amps. Sounds like this. <laughs> Metal Master is going into the Torpedo Live from two notes, whereas uh, the Diesel is going into the Torpedo Studio from two notes. You would also need two caps, two mics, and everything twice if you wanted to do this to do this live. One guitar added. Cool, that's a cool wide field now. I can clearly hear that the right side, wherever you, your right is, whatever, the metal master on the right is definitely more laid back now. <laughs> Two guitars. It's clean. No mimic, but still two amps, which will give you a nice sound.
Here's what I think. I think it does a phenomenal job, as you've heard in the track before. When I actually had the two guitars, one going through the metal master, the other one through the diesel, um, and then I did exactly the same thing, but with the mimic, I heard no difference whatsoever. So it gives you really the exact sound that you can achieve when you double. If you had exactly the same amp, same cap, everything, because you would have to do it at the same time. You would actually have to record at the same time and what you're saving in a studio situation is playing the part one more time. You're saving some time which can be for a studio situation money saved um, yet you need the same amp again. So if you're going in there with the dual rectifier um, you're gonna have to hope that they have another one or uh, you have to bring two. So money saved yes but you're gonna have to have two amps. Same goes for a live situation. Um, in a mono situation with one amp, I don't really hear the effect that much. Yes, it gets a little bit wider, yes, but the cool thing about doubling is that you have the option to go, whoa, and um, you can't do this as you have whoa, you know, you need whoa, and not whoa. You need to split it. You need to spread them, if you know what I mean. Um, so as a get that amazing, that was TC's hook line, you know, that get, that get that amazing doubled guitar thing now live on stage, I don't see it happening unless you're bringing two amps. Frankly, they can be different amps. You could actually bring a little five watt amp and um, you could do that, pump the right side into that, still better than not having it doubled or that, than having it in mono, so that actually you can have a stereo field. Even if that second guitar isn't as fat or big as the first one, it will still give you a nice sound. Um, as for how it plays, there's a clear thing that I notice when I turn it off, I'm like, ah, there's my sound which is, of course, th there's a reason for that. When I'm playing, I feel my attack, I know exactly where my note is. When that thing is on, I'm hearing the doubled guitars, which are behind where I'm playing. If they were ahead of time, it would be wibbly wobbly timey wimey Doctor Who kind of shit, but they can't do that, it's not a time machine. So the doubled guitars are time-stretched or time-placed behind where I am. They're kind of delays. Delays with some modulation and timing, probably timing modulation happening. Very cool algorithms, absolutely killer, we've heard it. Um, but it makes your playing a little bit soggy. Because it, it's not majorly bad, if you're playing riffs it's all good. But as soon as it's off you're like, ah, this is where I am. And you're, you're sacrificing a little bit of that precisivity for the doubleness. It's a, it's a toss-up, but let's say this. If you have two amps so that your engineer can spread them, that shit's killer. Don't expect that major doubled production sound in a live setting with the Mimic when you actually only have one amp. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, I, I, pers I don't hear it. I just hear it a little bit ruby, a little bit chorusy. Um, it is a killer algorithm when you're actually using it in stereo. Killer. I would absolutely drag two amps with me. Little ones. Yeah, that metalhead, that the metal master, metal master angle. They make that in a 40 in a in a in a combo. I think they even make that in a I think even the 20 has a combo version. With a 110, something like this. Take two of these puppies and fucking metal! Okay? So could be killer, especially if you're the only guitar player in the band, could be really killer. That's what I had to say, way to go TC, if you have two amps. If you have one amp, still try it and see if it does anything for you. See you guys. <laughs>